Hello everyone, hope you're having at least a moderately orgasmic day. I just wanted to make this short video to give you guys another update on future projects I'll be working on, as well as a short little review of some alternative creative content platforms that I use. Now, it's no secret that I'm not exactly a huge fan of YouTube when it comes to some of their policies and helpful tools and initiatives. However, that's not to say that it's always bad, and YouTube is still very much top dick at the Bukake Fest. But one thing to note is that they're facing some potentially powerful alternatives that might put YouTube's popularity in check soon. One such platform is Minds.com. Now, I think it's fair to point out that Minds is still in beta and are still ironing out the makeup of their app. It's still very much rough around the edges, and personally, I think the profile page setup could use some work. I also found that when you post an image or a video, any links you might include will show up at the top of the post with any other text and also feature an image or video from the link. You can avoid this by clicking the videos tab and directly uploading the media and pasting the links in the description box. Now take this with a grain of salt because I'm a complete moron when it comes to technology and I'm probably just doing it wrong, but hey, it's something I noticed. One thing I found particularly enticing about Minds is that it touts itself as a community-owned social network that's built on freedom and transparency that rewards the creator's activity with views and options for revenue. Two things that we'll get to in a second, but as a content creator, I found this much more incentivizing about the platform than anything else really. As of recording this video, I've yet to experience any kind of community strike or limitation of any kind or anything of that matter on my content. And the video that YouTube striked was the first I've uploaded, no problems there. At the very least, Minds seems to be okay with my brand of content and respect the fair use I employ in some of my videos, which is something I can't say with much confidence about YouTube. Getting back to some of the previous points I've skimmed over, the point system Minds uses kind of initially left a bad impression on me. It seems like a way to coerce people to spend money for what is essentially popularity points. I've kind of come around to it though. It certainly seems to benefit the creator more. Points can be exchanged to meet any view count coverage with one point equaling one view or you can exchange $10 for 10,000 points so you can trade in your real currency fake currency. As cool as that sounds, don't think this is some get internet rich quick scheme that'll really launch you into PewDiePie levels of success. While you may put a thousand points down on a post, it'll certainly get more exposure, but it isn't a tool that magically turns people's interest from who the fuck cares to having some modicum of anticipation for the next video that New Media Senpai releases. I've boosted some of my own posts, and while they indicate that I've met my quota on newsfeed views, not nearly as many people so much as watch three seconds of my video, which is fine people should watch what they want. And apparently more people on Minds.com tend to give me a view than on YouTube, it seems. If I could chalk that up to anything besides being a small fish in a small pond with less big fish in it, I'd wager that it's due to the exposure, and Minds.com seem to have come up with a pretty interactive and intuitive way to do that. Now that's truly awesome, a good way to promote creators, maybe even uh, get them on the raise. <laughs> Monetization options on Minds.com seems to be somewhat flexible. You can do peer-to-peer -peer boosted content or be supported by your own audience. You can also apply for ad sharing as well, you know, if that's your thing. One thing to keep in mind about Minds is that it's much different than YouTube aesthetically and the content is presented differently as well. Most of what you'll find in the way of what kind of content is available on Minds is in the range of art, music, blogs, commentary, and sometimes even memes. Not that you can't find any of that on YouTube, it just seems that creators at Minds tend to focus more on that kind of content. Minds works more as a social network than a video hosting site, and users tend to apply their content in that way. Minds also tends to be more proactive and mentally engaging than one might be used to, so it certainly isn't for everybody. One thing that has concerned me about Minds is that as of writing this, they've started a crowdfunding campaign to financially ensure the future of the network with an investment minimum of $100 and certain perks for investment. With this comes a concern that whomever may heavily invest into the network might have some influence over it, which could result in changes that might not be best for creators and users in the community, and even overturn the principles of freedom and transparency that Minds.com boasts standing on. So what do I think of Minds? Well, it's Aside from some small gripes and concern for its future and the evolution of the network, I find it pretty fun. It's a good place to fit my more political and uh, thought-provoking content. I read it three and a half orgasms out of five. Speaking of which, I plan to start an exclusive series on Minds where I focus on one particular ideology, event, or person and try to dissect and analyze the overall effect of that particular subject. 
in my own layman terms. But I'll probably be doing a piece on this guy, which should be interesting. So look into that soon if you're interested. I'll have the link to my profile in the description. Now don't think I've forgotten about YouTube. I've got something YouTube related that I really would like to cover, but I plan on putting some work into it. So bear with me, it might take a little while. Well, I guess that about wraps it up. Oh yeah, that exists. I don't know. I don't really have much to say about VidMe, other than its biggest strength probably lies in its simplicity. You upload a video, you, you upload your thumbnail, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. I really like the tipping system. Of all ways to have the creator be as impartial as possible with their audience, with a sustainable way to create revenue, this certainly seems to me anyway, to be the most commendable. The thing about VidMe is that, albeit with a far less cancerous trending tab, I can't help but feel it's very much a YouTube clone. It doesn't really do much to set itself apart. It really very much feels very bare bones as of now, and that's really a shame. There's certainly a level of untapped potential with VidMe. I give it a two Chinas out of five. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the future. As always, keep on keeping on. I love you.